Praise start. Praise be Jesus Christ, now and forever. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. But in all things, God may be. Tigil lang, Mr. Heronimo. Okay. Let's start with the roll call. Uh, I think we're almost complete. <clears throat> Purong. Isa Purong. Present po. Tanaag. Present po. Beltran. Present po. Ogay. Okay. Puma tayo. Okay, present. Pala na, present. Uh, Asanova? Present po. Castillo? Present po. Cruz? Present po. De Leon? Present po. Del Rosario? Present po. Anymore. Present po, sir. Gonzales. Present po. Bonillas. Present po. Uh-huh. Lockup. Lockup. Okay. Balikan na lang natin siya. Ms. Lauron. Present po, sir. Lim. Present po, sir. Malyaris. Malyari. Okay, balikan natin siya. Marasigan. Present po, sir. Membrano. Present po. Mendoza. Present po. Michael. Present po, sir. Okay, okay. Acknowledge, Mariari. Okay. Palaganas. Present po. Perez. Present po. Ikana. Present po. Igao. Present po. Roxy. Present po. Reyes. Present po. Ruel. Present po. Santos. Present po. Tapno. Present po. Talisik. Present po. Ayad. Present po. Tolentino. Present po. And last but not the least. Lashu. Present po. Uh, meron po bang hindi natawag? Okay, so wala. So let's, okay. So our topic is about <clears throat> module 7. In thus... Industry analysis and competition. 
mga quotation of the day natin. No? First and foremost is from John Milton. Uh, danger will wink on opportunity. When there is danger, there is opportunity. So now we're living in dangerous times, but also we're living on time of opportunities. It's up to us kung ano po ang iisipin natin sa upcoming days ahead. And this one no, is for the class. Uh, this one is from Thich Nhat Hanh. So this one, no, hope is important because it can make the present moment less difficult to bear. If we believe that tomorrow will be better, we can bear a hardship today. I put this uh, quotation last year because of the uh, ECQ. Binalik yung ECQ, but nowadays, so applicable po during our present times. We don't know how long the pandemic will last. We don't know how long the, the tough times will last, but tough times produce tough people. Yan na, no? Pinakita ko na. No? So, sabi nga, no? Uh, business is any activity carried out with a profit motive. So, ano po ba yung business? No? Buying and selling. No? Yung tatlong klase na activity, service, um, trading, and manufacturing. On the other hand, the industry refers to businesses which serve similar products or services. For example, uh, banking industry, di ba? Magkakasama sila, BDO, Metro Bank, Land Bank, BPI, healthcare, di ba? Mga hospitals, and many more. So I think, uh, given naman na po sa atin to, alam na po natin to. There are three main classifications of industries in the Philippines. We have the agricultural industry and service sector. Ano po ba yung naiisip natin pag agricultural? What is the first thing that comes to your mind when it comes to the agricultural sector? Yes, no, Mr. Santos? Pagsasaka po at pangingisda. Uh, people um, say no. Sir, bakit yung agriculture? Di ba? Lupa naman yun. No? Uh, actually, cover niya pareho. No? Uh, a subsector ng agriculture is yung ating fisheries na tinatawag. So, pangingisda. Okay? How about na naman sa ating industry? Marami po yung industry, but you can mention only one. Uh, Buma tayo? Sa materials and goods po. Okay, materials and goods. No? Tawag muna tayo ng ibang kukunti. Mag-ano tayo? Maka nag-ML ulit? Or na Tawagin ko muna si Banaag. Miss Banaag? Can you give me an example of industry sector? Um, eight lang personally. Sir, transportation po. The transportation, no? Ay, nako, di ba? Gutom na ako. Lala, uh, food panda. Yes, uh, dumadami, no? Perez? Sir, construction po. Oh, construction, no? Diyan po tayo nang galing. Uh, minsan, pati ako napapaisip ako, no? bakit ako nakapunta rito? Maybe it's just destiny. Uh, and last but not the least, no? nakita ko si Heronimo. Mining po, sir. Mine? Pamine. Sana mamine ko si Crush, pero wala eh. Kinakrush ako ni Crush. No? So, mine. Mining, quarrying, uh, importante po yan. No? And last but not the least is yung ating service. Ah, maraming service examples. Can you give me one? No? Uh, Natawag na kita, Ms. Perez. Okay. So, Ms. Mikana. Transport. Yeah, actually, transport is ano, no, part of the service. Yeah. Cornelius, yes. Tourist agency po. Real estate. No? Marami po. No? Ano pa? Yes, Lauron. Sir, yung mga travel agency po. Travel agency. Uh, actually, yung travel agency ngayon, more on mga groups na. But there's still some good offers. Yes, Cruz? Teaching po. Oh, teaching by serving. Serving by teaching. Okay, yeah, ubusin natin. Oh. Lim? Banking po and finance po. Banking. Oh. Pag tumira si Efren Batari, yes, di chokata. Bank ko. <laughs> yeah. Kalisik. Information technology po. Yes, information technology. No? Kumikita yung mga IT dyan. Ah, meron pa. Casanova. Media and entertainment industry po. 
Sorry, sorry. Ah, BPO. Media entertainment po, sir. Oh, entertainment, not TikTok. And last but not the least, wala na? Sir, health services po. Yan ang importante ngayon. Whether it's uh, therapy, COVID treatment, uh, ano pa ba? Uh, America, uso yung hosp- hospice. No? Para sa mga matatanda, uh, they're about to pass away. No? Beyond hospital control na siya. Psychi- uh, psychological counseling, no? psychiatrists. Yes. So, alam na alam niyo na. No? Pwede na natin itapusin tong topic. But of course, hindi pwede. No? Mapapagalitan tayo. <laughs> okay. So the problem with our agricultural in the sector is that it is laggard. Ibig sabihin na pag-iwanan po yung ating agriculture. So uh, if you will remember, no, sinabi ng ating presumptive president na balak yung gawing 20 pesos per kilo. Is it possible? Hindi natin masabi, pushing, but possible. Why? Because our agricultural sector is, yun nga, no, na pag-iwanan. Whereas yung ating industry and service sector are considered as the growth drivers but in reality at as much as 40 years ago it's the other way around no yung industriya at ang ating service sector yun po yung napag-iiwanan now uh, it's it has turned its head no? baliktad na po yung kalagayan so i hope may habol naman po makakain naman po ng konti ang ating agricultural sector um, it's sad kasi ang ating international rice research institute is located in the philippines pero nakikinabang yung mga kapitbahay natin. Uh, like Vietnam, Thailand, Cambodia, and even Malaysia. Sad to say. Yan, yeah, no? Structure of industry. So, alam nyo na yan. Uh, sa ibang bansa, no? for the first world countries, we have the quaternary production. No? So, it's more on research out- output. But here in the Philippines, wala po tayo masyadong research. Kopyador lang tayo ng research. That's why uh, the DepEd has prioritized. Like sa senior high school, you have the practical research. Kami, wala kaming ganyan. Ang time namin. So primary is, yun niya, production and extraction of natural resources. And then for the secondary is manufacturing and construction. Uh, usually, this secondary production goes hand in hand. Uh, like, like yours truly, no, nung nagtatrabaho pa ako sa construction, we construct uh, warehouses, factories, plants for manufacturing industries such as mega box, uh, curtain rods, ano pa ba? mga feeds, salamin, uh, meron pa, sa paper products, ano, mga storage. So meron naman po ako konting idea sa manufacturing business. Oops. Sorry for that. And last but not the least, yung tertiary. Okay, so services. So maraming service. Mula sa pinaka-obvious hanggang dun sa hindi natin masyado nakikita. Or more on B2B. Panggit nyo na, let's just show you. Agricultural sector for a smoother transaction uh, lesson. No, farming. No? It's on. It's already on the book. No? I'm just showing you the pictures, but we have all the data in the books. Livestock. No? Wala po siya dun sa book, but yeah. That includes livestock. Uh, ano ba yung main sources sa protein natin mga Pilipino? Uh, chicken, pork, and uh, beef. Yung, yung pork, hinahabol niya na seed beef sa presyo. And fishery. Fishing. So, ang dami pong kinukuwang isda. But, sanga-sanga po kasi yung problema natin. Maraming isda, pero hindi tayo makapangisda ngayon. No? On the west, on the panatag shoal due to the uh, Chinese vessels. Kaya mataas din po ang isla. Also, mahal po ang crudo. So, of course, malaking barko, you're using a boat. And forestry. No? Of course, wala pong ganitong punong sa Pilipinas. But, mata- marami pong nagtotroso ngayon. So, industry sector accounts for 33%. No? So, siya ngayon yung isa sa nangunguna. One of the reasons bakit nauuna ang uh, naiiwanan ng Pilipinas is yung industry natin naiiwan. 33 lang po. If you will compare that in contrast to other countries, particularly Vietnam, eh, sila na yung nagiging the second China. Mga umaalis ng China, they're moving to Vietnam because it's much cheaper. Ayan yung sinasabi kanina, no? mining. 
Ano po ba yung pinagkaiba ng mining no? versus quarrying? Usually yung mining nasa underground, below, you're mining for uh, rare stones no? like gold, no? precious metals, and gemstones such as gold and diamonds. And then for mining, you're using more on yung mga, let's say, marble no? or construction materials. So this one is a marble plant. Uh, I can see the, the detail, the travertine. Yeah. So they're using a giant loader. Mukha lang maliit yung loader na yan, but uh, siguro from wheel to the top of the loader, mga apat na kotse na pinagpatong-patong. Manufacturing. What can you say about our manufacturing? Kamusta naman po kaya ang ating manufacturing sa Pilipinas? What do you think of our manufacturing sector? Okay po ba? Or needs improvement? Or walang kwenta ating manufacturing? Yes, Santos. Uh, more than half po ng industrial sector is manufacturing po. So, siya yung ating money spinner right now for our industry sector. If you will check our book, no? medyo outdated lang yung sa akin ng konti, 23% out of the possible uh, 33 ang manufacturing. So majority sa kanya. Super majority. Technically. But there's still room for improvement. Not just in manufacturing but also construction. Ibig sabihin marami pa po tayong untapped potential. So pag marami kang construction that's a good sign that your economy is booming. Kailangan pang tumas ng konti para masenso pa ang Pilipinas. So hopefully, no? that's one of the reasons why during the Duterte administration, tinokos niya talaga yung build, build, build. The economy needs infrastructure. Hopefully one day, ma-accomplish yung mga, hindi mo naman ma-accomplish in one administrative term lahat ng projects na kailangan tapusin. It takes time. For example, yung ating PNR, kailan pa yun? Time pa ni Gloria yung pina, uh, pina no? 2010, but still, Hanggang ngayon, it's already 2022 eh wala pa rin po. No? Electricity. We're still suffering from shortages. As you can see, electricity just consisted of 3%. Hindi na nga kaya minsan ng ating power grid. Again, electricity is mostly a monopoly. No? So sa lugar natin, let's say sa Metro Manila or GMA na, Greater Manila area, pero ko lang naman po eh. Wala nang iba because it is capital intensive. And of course, meron siyang legislative uh, monopoly. Gas supply. Uh, so this picture is from the Pandakan Oil Depot. They're making a proposal to redevelop the infrastructure of the Pandakan Oil Depot. Mataas mo ang gas, no? not just here in the Philippines. That's why it affects our prices and also our recent inflation. 4.9. The magic number is 2 to 4 percent. Hopefully, matapos na yung gyera sa Ukraine and Russia para naman medyo mag-stabilize yung mga presyo. And water supply. Lalo na po ngayon summer. Ito po talaga yung nagkakaroon ng problema. We need more dams. Hopefully, the current government will focus more on dams. Particularly on the sa may bandang Bulacan and the Isabela area. Uh, there were at least 15 uh, dam projects that were not accomplished for the past 35 years. Na ipun na po. And the service sector. So, talaga yung malakas nun. So, hopefully, we can transition a little bit. No? Magbalance man lang ng konti yung tatlo. Service sector accounts for 57% of the Philippine economy. Ayan yan, no? Ah, bakit pinagsama-sama, sir? Transport, storage, and communication. Top items. Sa manufacturing, kailangan mo kasi i-transport yung minamanufacture mo. Hindi mo naman pwede i-manufacture lang yan. Tapos iwan mo na lang nakatiwang-wang dun sa factory. <laughs> you still have to store it. You still have to transport it. And during the stage, kailangan may communication. Kailan yung dating ng shipment. No? Paano mo isasalansan yan? Or paano mo ipapasok ito? No? From the forklift. How is your distribution? So this is more on operations. And trade and repair of 
motor vehicles. Dumadami po yung mga sasakyan sa Pilipinas. So of course, no, maganda pong racket for uh, businessmen is you may kinalaman sa mo automotive repair services. So, sa tech book, I hope they focus on this someday, no? sooner or later. Sa Tesla, meron din pong ganito, if I'm not mistaken. Malakas po kumita yung mga yan. No? Um, baka mas malaki pa kumita kaysa sa akin yung mga mekaniko. And, yun, no? Ito, magkakaano rin to, no? magbe-best friend din to. Real estate, renting, and business activities. Can someone tell us about the real estate market? No? Kamusta naman ang ating real estate market? nag increase po kasi po dumadami din po yung urbanization tsaka mga para po mga BPOs and multinational companies. Hey, you know, uh, you're just turning 17, 18. So, nakita nyo na yung BGC na ganito. No? But during our time, as early as around 2005, no, kakapanganak nyo lang, wala pa yung mga yan. No? So, burado pa lahat yan. Yung time namin, wala pa yan. No? So, puro comics lang yan. Hindi naman siya ano, no? kasi may ASCOT, eh. may pamigay ng... So, this is Makati. So, let's say this is BGC. BGC. Wala pa yan. At that time, 2005, puro construction train lang yan. And that's one of the reasons why I decided to take up a civil engineering degree. Kasi ang daming construction sa Pilipinas during those times. But now, no, nandiyan na sila lahat. No? Of course, hindi naman pwedeng permanent na naka-construction site ka. No? Uh, once it is finished and turned over to the owner or developers, it's a time you use of it for your business activities. So pwedeng shopping mall, offices, residential, hotels, etc. Diba? Hotel, okay. uh, commercial, Uh, office, condo, di ba? So, pwedeng gaya, condo, tapos ito lang yung office mo. Now, ang nauso na ngayon, hindi lang building-building or townhouse condo, no? it's more of townships. As already described previously, nasa Indonesia. No? So, they decided to make up a project. No? So, itong kalahate, dito ka mabubuhay. Kung kalahat, eh, dito ka mamamatay. Why? No? Dito, puro mga condo, uh, townhouse, office space, hospitals, schools, etc. No? Lahat na. Tipong hindi mo na kailangan lumabas. And then this one, no? this one is your cemetery, columbari, etc. Hopefully, hindi naman gawin sa Pilipinas yan. Because iba naman kasi yung culture ng uh, Indonesia from the Philippines. So maybe, pero matinding mag-isip na developer. and professions. So, si Doc, no? and attorney, or should we say judge. So, the stethoscope and the gable, and not just that, so even your accounting, even yung mga logistic services natin, there are professions. Teachers, no? imam and sir, ano pa? Mga, yung mga unsung heroes, no? mga nasa laboratory, mga pathologists, Ano pa? Ano pa ba mga example ng mga professions? Uh, bukod din sa mga nabanggit. Can you give us an example, Michael? Nabanggit ko na si accountant. So, lagay natin. Teaching, medtech, accountant. Ano pa? Ano pa ang example ng mga professions? Yes, uh, sorry. Lauren and Perez. Lauren Sir, muna. yung engineer po. Ano si engineer? No? Sana. Yes, uh, Perez? Sir, architect po. So, si engineer, pinag-aagawa ni accountant, saka ni architecture. So, gusto ni engineer si accountant, pero eh, si architect, pero siya yung napapangasawa ng si accountant. Nurse! Huwag natin kalimutan ng mga nurse. Nurse, nahihilo ako. Yeah, nurse. 
And ano pa? Ngayon na uso ngayon yung mga uh, psychiatrists or psychologists. So, lawyers. Uh, doctors. Marami pa po. No? Uh, let's include yung mga vets, veterinarian. So, hindi po tayo maubusan ng profession. In fact, the PRC, I think, has mga 300 ng mga exams no? for, cert, for uh, several professions. No? So, sasakop tayo po lahat ng PRC. Especially those who are planning to take up accountancy. Ang ABM strands courses, wala naman pong sakop si PRC. Now, let's proceed to the industry analysis. So, i-exe ako na lang na ano ka sa time level. Okay? So, according to the definition, it is a market assessment tool. Kamusta naman po yung market conditions used by businesses and analysts to understand the competitive dynamics. Hindi ka pwedeng susugod sa gera nang wala kang barel, walang bala. Ano ka? Hindi ka naman kawawang cowboy. No? And it helps to understand a company's position. It's all about the position. Relative to other participants. Lalo na kung uh, new entrant ka, kamusta naman? Ano, mag, ano mangyayari sa'yo pag pumasok ka sa ganitong industriya? So, ito yung maibibigay sa iyo. Ito malabo pala, no? From the industry analysis. Review available information. This is the new in, the new industrial age. Information. Lahat makikita niyo na ngayon sa Facebook eh. Alam naman natin kung ano yung fake news saka yung legit news. Ganun din po sa business. Hindi naman po nagsisinungaling ang mga numero. That's why we have the financial statements. Next, it all it also it also helps you get an idea. Ano ba meron sa let's say sa banking industry or sa QSR? Ano po yung QSR, sir? You will recall quick service restaurant, which includes Jollibee and McDonald's or hotel. Anong hotel? City hotel ba yan? Resort hotel? about the right industry. Siyempre, kung papasok ka, let's say, no, gusto magtayo ng password, you're more curious about this one. Not this one. <laughs> your competitors, your competition. Kamusta naman sila? Maka naman pare-pareho kayong not doing well. So, ibig sabihin, yung industry nyo medyo matamlay. Or, it also helps you to forecast. You know, ito, importante to. So, pag sinabi natin forecast is meron pong scientific basis, hindi po Rudy Baldwin. Hindi po yung Nostradamus. And here is the Porter's Five Forces. Ano bang, uh, was this one? Porter's Five Forces discussed during your organization and management? May discuss po ba siya? Mr. Bumatayo? Yes po, sir. Oh, so, medyo dadali. Sino po ba pwede mag-explain ng bawat isa? Para, ano lang yung pagkakaintindi nyo, no? Hindi ko naman kailangan i-explain nyo ng detalyado. Can someone volunteer or magtatawag ako ng, tawag dito, Wheel of Names? Ayan sila lahat. Dito muna tayo no? sa pinakamadali. No? Per one. Rivalry among competing firms. Can someone explain the rivalry among competing firms bago ako maggamit ng deal of need? Deal of need. Ah, okay. Sino kaya babagsakan ng ballpen?
Okay. Membrano, can you explain? No? Ano ba yung pagkakaintindi mo sa rivalry among competing firms? As a rock. Organization management professor or teacher. Skip. A measure of the extent of competition among existing firms. So, think of yourself as the firm. No? Kamusta ba yung rivalry nyo? Ganun po yun. Uh, actually, tama po yung sinabi ni Ms. Membrano. Gano po ba ka-intense? No? Gano po ba ka kahirap yung labanan? O uh, nagbibigayan ba sila? Or wala talagang uh, wala talagang leverage? No? Okay. Membrano, gets it? No, it's not. How about yung ano? Uh, ating power of suppliers. Power of suppliers, no? Kayo. Okay, power of suppliers. Someone briefly describe the bargaining power of suppliers. Okay, that's all. Mr. Pigao. Pigao. Ano ba yung power of suppliers? Alam natin yung power ni Dr. Strange, pero ano ba yung power ng suppliers? Uh, huh, okay, Mr. Lim. Sir, yung bargaining power of suppliers, yun po yung, um, let's say, yung power or yung control ng mga suppliers dun sa magiging presyo. So, ano po, based po sa nabasa sa libro, meron pong supplier concentration. So, pag mas mataas po yung supplier concentration, mas bababa po yung bargaining power ng mga suppliers. Uh, meaning po nun is, mas magiging mahirap po na ma-determine nila yung mga presyo sa market. Yun po. So, ito yung mga keywords, no? control and price. Ang tanong, sino may control? Yung firms or yung suppliers? Next, number three. Tayo, alam natin lahat to. No? What is the bargaining power of consumers? The almighty customer is right. Ano ba yung bargaining power of consumers in a nutshell? Pag namili yung magulang yung sa palengke, no? ano ba yung bargaining power of consumers? Or kayo na lang, no? Magmamind kayo ng isang item sa Shopee or sa Facebook Live, di ba? Mr. Payat. Ano ba yung power mo as a consumer? Hindi naman pwedeng pag sumigaw ka ng Darna, meron ka ng power of consumers. How about Mr. Bogay? No? Pagkompleto si Mr. Bogay sa requirements niya previously, isa siya sa top students during the last grading period. But what is the power of consumers, Mr. Bogay? Oh, mukhang may kwento ako mamaya kay Miss Kit. Skip. Mukhang nagka-amnesia na sila. Nakalimutan na nila yung mga powers. How about Gonzales? Ano ba yung power of consumers? You're doing this every day. Yes, Santos? Ito po yung kapangyarihan ng mga consumers na mag-demand for ano po, uh, better quality and lower prices. Ito, no, tama yung sinabi niya. Kung pwede nga lang, ibigay mo sa akin, excellent quality, kung pwede nga, libre. Diba? Low price. Yan po yung paborito ng mga customers. 
let's say, dapat mamaya pa example, pero sige, sabihin na lang natin. Uh, if you're buying milk tea, yung store A and store B, or gawin na lang natin may iba naman. Si store alpha and store beta, no? kay alpha 1, uh, 90 pesos lang, ay malaki. Malaking cup. And then kay store B, nasa 200. Saan kay store A or sa store B? Or store alpha or store beta? Diba? Usually, alpha. Kasi 90, 200. Hindi mag-date. Pag nag-date kayo, 90, 90. 180 lang. Mahal pa rin dito. So, less than or equal. <laughs> Alayo ng diferensya. That is the bargaining power of consumers. And then, alam naman natin to, no? Potential entry of new competitors. Gaano kakadali pasukin ng mga future competitors. Kung ikaw naman yung future or new competitor, gaano kadali makapasok dun sa industry itself? Gaano kadali makapasok dun sa industry? Kaya nga siya papasok. Kasi yung usual books, wala eh. Walang arrow. Puro pa ganun. No? But eto yung ginagamit namin na arrow. Despite the arrows, pare-paro lang naman yan. And the development of substitute products. Ano ba yung substitute? Magre ano lang tayo, replay lang tayo. What is a substitute product? Or can you give an example of substitute products? A SAP, no? Alam mo, ang masakit kapag ikay pinagpalit, di ba? Yung, yung song, no? So, let's say, ang product mo is butter. Mantikilya, papalitan ka ng margarine. Or margarine, sabi nga ng mga parents nga. Natin. Mas mura naman kasi yung margarine. But maraming pwedeng pamalit sa butter, no? Lalo na kung palaman sa tinapay. Pwedeng kesong puti. Keso na lang, o keso. Cheese. Pwedeng corn beef. Pwedeng wala. No? So, Ilublub mo lang sa coffee. Kung gusto mo, pwedeng pag-uong, palaman mo sa tinapay. Diba? No one will stop you. Huwag lang naman siguro semento palaman sa tinapay. That's a, a, a different topic. But there are many substitute products. So, yung product mo ba, gaano kadaling palitan? Or ano yung pwedeng substitute outside your natin to competitors no okay na yan alam niyo naman ko ano yung competitors alam niyo naman ko ano yung consumers suppliers substitutes and competitors pa ah, hindi competitors to ah uh, lang new entrants yeah no? so we're going to focus first on the rivalry among competing firms so it describes the intensity, intensity with which the companies within the same industry. No? Think of the classroom. Gaano ba ka-intense yung rivalry ninyo, no? especially sa honors? You're very lucky na no? meron na yung high honors and yung honors. During our time, hindi uso yan. No? First, second, and third lang. Pag-port ka, ano ka na? Ano ka na sa kwento, no? But now, it's about the high honors and honors. So I think it made the competition less intense. So when I was a student like you, no, meron pang average yun. Pag first, kailangan ang average mo is 97. Second, average is 95. Or 93 yata. Third, kailangan 90 ka man lang. Fourth, 87. And fifth, sorry, sorry. 93, 1987 and 85. Very perfect score namin 95 lang. Not 100. It can range from genteel to cutthroat. Ibig sabihin, ano lang, no? uh, magaan lang yung competition. Wait lang, ha? Thank you. 
sa gentle, ano lang, uh, laro-laro lang, kumbaga. And here are the factors. Gano'n ba karami? Number and size. Baka naman, ganyan lang kayo, no? Konti lang. Malit lang. Or, puro mga malalaking isda, no? Who knows? Diversity. Gano'n ba ka-diverse yung mga competitors? Industry growth. Kamusta naman? There are some industries na ang growth is nasa 2%. Huh? Uh, CAGR. Pero naman nasa 18. So, depende kung gaano ka laki yung pag-growth ng industry. Concentration. Quality differences. Malaki ba yung quality differences? Or tama lang? For me, the hardest is this one. The brand loyalty. Also, is yung supply and demand. Baka naman lahat kayo nakatunga nga lang kasi wala masyadong demand doon sa product. Another difficult thing is yung 8 and 9s. Barriers to exit and switching cost. Now, ito switching cost yung kaninang kunento ko si Alpha and Beta. So let's say 90 and then 200. Eh paano kung ang presyo naman ni Beta is nasa 90 rin? Why would you bother switching? Diba? Sabi mo, pareho lang naman presyo. There you go. So these are the factors for a rivalry of competing firm. Uh, since late time, start late din tayo mag, mag break. Mga 9.35. Second is bargaining power consumers. It is considered as the most important. Bakit naman siya tinawag na most important? Ko na lahat. Ms. Borromeo, bakit naging most important si bargaining power of consumers? Ikaw kaya sabihin na hindi ka importante. No? Diba? So, syempre, the customer is always right. Kaya siya yung tinawag na most important. Bawa, nagtitinda ka ng gulay, lumapit yung customer. Ay, hindi ka importante sa akin. <laughs> Kahit customer ka, kalit siguro yung mamimili. Concerns the pressures and industry consumers can put on the producers' margins. So, Siyempre, no, kanina, balikan natin to 9200. Mahal naman talaga si Beta. But, mapipilitan siya magbaba, 150. But still, hindi niya pa rin kaya ibit to eh. Siguro 100 or uh, 120. Baka, pwede niya pang ibaba ng 120, but mas mahal yung ingredients niya, mas mahal yung ambience. Eh, paano kung itong 90 na to, yung tipong stall lang? No? Tapos, yung kanya talagang full cafe and resto. Cafe and resto, di ba? So, it will be harder for store beta to beat store alpha. So, Dalawa lang ang hihingin sa'yo ng customer. Lower price or higher product quality. Pero minsan, kahit ibigay mo na yung higher product quality, huh? hindi pa rin sapat. Maganda ka na lahat-lahat, pero minsan pinagpapalit ka pa rin doon sa hindi naman ganun kaganda. People always aim for the cheap. So, Sabi nga ni Moira, no, paubaya. So cheap. Lower price. And po, hinahanap lagi lang. Ang consumers. And it's human instinct, eh. No, kahit naman ako, eh. Alam ko maganda yung quality, pero inukuripot ako, no? Mahal. Bili na lang ako ng cheapy pie. May mumurahin. Kahit alam ko sa huli, magmumura ako sa sobrang pangit ng product. I cannot remove the instinct of the customer. That's when buyers successfully obtain price discount. It reduces the firm's top line or revenue. So, pag nagbigay nga siya, no, 90, 200, ginawa niya 120, yes, 
bumebenta siya pero nabawasan yung profit margins niya. From 110, naging 30 pesos na lang po. So that's a problem. Or the factors, no? Gano'n ba karami yung customer mo? This is important. Bulk buying. Itong bulk buying, uh, once in a lifetime lang to, no? bihirang-bihira to. Uh, pag retailer, you do not really utilize the bulk buying. But there are some stores na, ah, sige sa, pag binili mo yung buong box na yan, may 10% discount. Or sa milk tea. Ah, sige sir, pag bumili kayo ng dalawang dosyan ng orders ng milk tea, you will get a discount. But this is rare. So, hindi siya ganun ka prioritize. Number three, differences between customers. Malaki pong impact yun. If your customer is yung masa versus yung customer mo is yung upper class, the elite, you have a huge disparity of customers. Kaya nga po magandang example yung uh, Jollibee and McDonald's. No? Fast food. Kasi mayaman o mahirap kung makain dito. Hindi mo pwede sabihin ng mayaman, ah, oh, so yaki ka dito ever, di ba? Lahat po kumakain dito. Wala pong kawala. Price sensitivity. Changes in the price. How will your customers react? So this one is also important. Buyer's ability to substitute. Sa pa yan. Ay, mahal sa Jollibee. Nakain na lang ako sa turo-turo. Nakain na lang ako sa karindarya. Or magbabaon na lang ako. Buyer's information availability. Ito medyo umaangat na rin ito. Medyo on the rise na rin siya. Uh, corporations, businesses are getting more transparent. And the last but not the least is the cost. consumers switching cost. Why will I switch? Itong dalawa ito. Dalawang ito. No? You're switching from one to another because nakakasawa ah, naman kung lagi kang Jollibee or lagi kang now, for the third, is our bargaining power of suppliers. So, this one affects the intensity of competition. Suppliers can exert on an industry's profit potential. So, let's say, you know, uh, usually, mas cheaper naman. So, pag ang benta ng supplier mo is 100, tutubo ka siguro ng 20, you know, 120. But, pag tinaas ng supplier mo to 120, di ba? Yung, yung items niya, then you will be forced to sell it to 140 or 150 pesos. Huh? So, yun po yung power ng suppliers. Now, pag ikaw naman ang may power, the other way around, pwede mo siya i-pressure from 100. Huh? Let's see. 100 siya, gawin mo, discount na lang 20%. No? So, papayag siya 80 pesos. 80 pesos, Therefore, you can still sell it at 120. Lumaki pa yung profit mo. Yan po yung power of supplier. So, sino bang mas lamang sa situation na to or relationship na to? Is it you, the business, or the suppliers? So, here are the factors. Gaano ba karami suppliers? Now, for example, sa elevator, no? Ilan lang sila? All over the Philippines, walo lang. No? You have Schindler, Hyundai. Tama ba? Walo lang ha? Pag muna natin yan, no? let's give the benefit of the doubt. Otis, uh, Mitsubishi. No? Mga apat lang na malaking names. No? And then some China brands. So, sabihin mo nang pushing yung 12 elevator suppliers all over the Philippines. Isipin nyo yun, ilang building meron sa Pilipinas. Let's just approximate it to 300,000. Divided by 12. Paghati-hatian nila yan. So, number of suppliers. Or sa cars, huh? let's just consider the car as your supplier. Ilan po yun? Mga ganun din, te? 10 to 12, pushing ng 15. Here in the Philippines. Size of the suppliers. There are some suppliers na probably MN, MNC, no? multinational company. Meron namang suppliers na tipong ba, nasa bahay lang. No? Supplier. No? Ganun lang siya. 
uniqueness of each supplier's product. Gano'n ba kayo unique yung pinaparating supplier sa market? Baka siya lang meron nun. So for example, kami sa construction, no? uh, pag uh, in-specify ng architect is Sika, you have to buy it from the Sika supplier or do sa Sika na company. Hindi ka pwede mag-substitute. No? Mamiya yung substitute. So Sika product only. Doon ka lang pwede bumili sa supplier. Parang sa, sa car parts. Let's say, ang car mo is Toyota. Toyota. So syempre, Toyota lang. Hindi ka pwede magkabit ng Mitsubishi. <laughs> ng mga car parts. Siguro sa sticker, pwede pa. Vocal firm's ability to substitute. Madali bang palitan yung product ng supplier? It depends. It depends from one industry to another. And last but not the least is the firm's switching costs. Pag nag-switch ba siya, ano bang magiging epekto sa company? So let's say, Sika and then gumamit ka ng Pioneer. Saan ba mas makakatulong? Baka naman, okay ka naman dito, ay dito untested, so usually, you will not, typically you do not proceed with this transaction, pero kung wala talaga, then sige, go lang. No? Yan po, lima lang po, pero very complex itong relationship na to. Also, if you're not paying on time with your supplier, uh, nagiging problema sa supplier, is if you're not paying them on time, nagiging demanders po sila. Pahihirapan ka nila. So yun naman yung bargaining power of suppliers when they become the demanders. And last is the potential entry of new competitors. Gano? Kadali. Pumasok. Madaling pumasok, sabi nga nila. Madaling pumasok, mahirap lumabas. Which is true, even in business. These are the risks, tataman po risk, that potential competitors are willing to take when entering an industry. So let's say some of you are doing some entrepreneurial work. No? Madali lang kung mag-back out. No? Kung medyo matuman, huwag mo na lang ituloy. But pag isa ka ng business, established business, it's not that easy to get out of an industry. So, barriers to entry. Now, remember yung mga topic natin about market structures? Huh? Yan po yun. Economies of scale, customer loyalty. Ito yung pinakamahirap sa lahat. Like, let's say sa car, no? meron mga talagang Ford enthusiasts. And meron naman mga you know, sa pickup, no? eh, Ford Ranger. And there are some who are Toyota Hilux enthusiasts. Nakalimutan ko yung sa Mitsubishi. Ano ba yung sa Mitsubishi? Does anyone have an idea? No? Kindly message. Nakalimutan ko talaga. Pero di sa Mitsubishi. Pick up trucks. Or kahit na lang sa ano, no? sa bag. Uh, may kanya-kanya tayong loyalty. Some will buy for the for ano muna no unisex some will buy hawk hawk bags some will buy yung mga nike under armor diba adidas it depends on your lifestyle others prefer to buy let's say um north face and some will prefer signature like victorino now, depends sa market mo victorino uh bridge and riley I'm not sure if you're aware of Briggs and Riley. And to me, etc. Uh, iba naman, no? Hawk and John Sport. So, mass appeal. Yeah. So, usually, pag may bagong labas, Persian, sapato. We're going to aim for this. One, two, three, four. Uh, depending on market. Capital requirements. Gano'n po bang kadali maglabas ng puhunan? So let's say yung mga perfect competition, monopolistic competition, it's very easy. Madali lang po, but if you're aiming for a oligopoly or monopoly, you're trying to tackle a monopoly, 
medyo <clears throat> yeah, mahirap. Cumulative experience. No? Mga tao mo naman to. No? So, kahit kumuha ka ng mga magagaling na tao from other companies, iba pa rin po yung mga tao from the leading companies. Government policies. Ito medyo mahirap. Susunod ka talaga sa gobyerno, that's a problem with the business. Access to distribution channels. No? Remember do sa telecom companies, ba? Globe and Smart lang tayo. Nag-try si Telstra. Galungkong. Nag-try si Dito. Ganun din. Galungkong din. No? So, nahirapan silang talunin because of these distribution channels. May advantage na sila sa mga sell side. And the buyer switching box. Why will I bother moving to Telstra? Ay, meron namang Globe. Meron namang Smart. Or why will I bother going to Dito? Ay, nandun na ako. No? Doon. Smart. So, yun yung disadvantage ng new competitors. Uh, so, let's say, uh, uh, let's say, uh, tawag dito, Jollibee, no? Jollibee and McDo, no? McDonald's. Tapos tayo, no? Sambuanga, will open a Zumburger. No? Zumburgs. No? Parang, Come on, ang laki ng advantage itong dalawa ko compared to Zumbergs. Sa kabila, ginawa ko haro-haro G. This one is Zumbergs. That's the disadvantage of the new competitors. Plus, the substitute products. Alam nyo na yan. Substitute, meet the same basic customer needs as the industry's product, but in a different way. Sa example ko kanina, let's say butter yung product mo. So, palaman sa tinapay. Kung palaman sa tinapay pag-uusapan, ang daming option. Merong mayonnaise. May, tawag doon, matamis na bao. May fruit jam. May keso, di ba? Coffee or chocolate, di ba? Ilublub mo na lang. Kung gusto mo, lublub mo sa tubig, why not? Di ba? Hindi ka naman namin babasagin. Bagoong, kung gusto mo ilublub sa bagoong, walang aawat sa'yo. There are numerous substitutes. But when you're talking about a different item, let's see. Let's see, no? Baguhin natin. Construction material. Dalawa lang naman yan, eh. Bakal. O bato. No? Bato meaning cement, no? concrete. Or talagang pag wala ka talagang pera, di plywood. Unless gagawa ka ng bahay na gawa sa soft drink bottles. Bote. Pwede. <laughs> Pwede. There are some people who are doing that. But ito yung tatlong main. So mahirap palitan tong tatlo. The idea that products or services available from the outside, outside the given industry will come close to meeting the needs of current customers. No? Let's say hotel. Ano ba yung substitute nyo sa hotel? Sir, yung mga Airbnbs po. Okay, no? Airbnb. Nauso na rin ngayon yung tinatawag natin na glamping. Feeling mahirap pero nandun ka sa pwesto ng mayaman. No? So it's a combination of glamour and camping. Uh, pwede ka rin naman mag-motel. Uh, magpangit lang yung connotation ng motel. No? Pag naririnig natin sa Pilipinas yung salitang motel, yung alam natin yung sumbig lang liko. But in America, motels are, kasi uso rin naman yung uh, long drive doon, so you sleep for the night. Yan, Yan yung mga nauso ngayon. Or, uh, ano pa ba? Kung talagang kuripot ka, di matulog ka na sa kotse. <laughs> so those are the substitute. But, Considering the substitute, the number of substitute, exaggeration yung car, o yung, ano, ano, yung pipe sa bahay ka lang, konting-konti pa yan. So the factors are as follows. Number of substitute products. So yung kanina sinampol ko sa hotel, no? konting-konti lang yung substitute. Buyer propensity to substitute. So gano'ng kadalas mag-substitute? gano'ng kadalas ipagpalit ka ng customer. Availability of substitute. Yes, baka maraming ang Airbnb, eh puno naman. 
nangyari. Relative price performance of substitute. Uh, when you check no, at Agoda, so let's say Agoda versus Airbnb. Sa akin, no, kung one, let's say 1.7 dito, dito 1.5, I'll go for the Agoda. It's cheaper. Uh, sabihin natin, mas mahal, but isa may free breakfast pa to. Which is convenient then. Eto, wala talaga. Matutulog ka lang. But, kung let's say, Agoda is 2,000, 1,500 yung Airbnb, then I might go for the Airbnb. Depende po. Depende po sa situation. Perceived level of product differentiation. Uh, Doon ba sa client, okay lang ba yun? Na, imbis na butter, eh, pag cheese whisk na lang ako. No? Okay sa kanya, di, okay lang. But if it's not okay, then he or she will still go for butter. Maybe a cheaper brand. And number six, switching cost. Ganon din yun. So let's say, balikan na natin. Butter. No? Yung isang butter nasa 130. 130. Kung may butter naman, ba't ka bibili pa ng cheese whisk? To go for the butter. But kung yung cheese whisk nasa 80 pesos lang, kung pare, then you might switch no? to cheese whisk. Okay lang po. No? Those are the five uh, quarters, five horses. Ayan. No? So nauso po mga binibini at ginoo yung mga palitan yung kulay. mga travel agency. Yung mga gusto magpunta ng Canada, gusto magpunta ng Australia, gusto pumunta ng Amerika. Yan. Yeah. So those are opportunities. So travel agencies are taking up the opportunities sa mga sinasabi ng mga diba, ayoko na. Ayawan na rito sa Pilipinas. I'll go migrate. Opportunity. And the threats. For example, again, ayaw matanggal yung platform. Okay, ayaw matanggal. No? So, let's say yung BPO naman, sabi nila baka magsialisan. So, those are threats. Elements in the company's external environment that could endanger the integrity and profitability of a business. Will it really affect the BPO industry? Pag si BBM ang naging pre president? Let's see. Hindi natin sure. Those are still just forecasts or predictions. Sana hindi naman po. Whether we voted for BBM or not. Sana hindi po. Okay. So, strengths and weaknesses, alam niyo naman na internal and then this one are external. Strengths, you must exploit. Yes, overcome. Kailangan malampasan po yung weakness. Opportunities take advantage. No? Kaya nga yung mga travel agency, they're taking advantage of the situation. Ayaw mo na sa Pilipinas, apply ka sa amin. And threats, produce. Kung mangyari man yung sa BPO situation, then we must mitigate the impact. Pagkawala ng jobs. Okay, so this one will be our Kasi last year pa kasi yan. So in short, mas madali yung sa inyo. This will be our quarterly assessment. So, nagpaalam na ako kay Ms. Carol. This will be our quarterly assessment. Personal swap matrix. Ginawa nyo na po yan sa Orgman. So, I'll just change it a little bit. To discuss your current. Current. Micro and macroeconomic environment. Number two, identify your own personal weakness, strengths, opportunities, and threats. Uh, also, ma'am. 1014. Okay, so I think meron pa akong time mag-show ng isang uh, personal swap matrix nga no, last year. Balikan muna dito para tayo. Huh? So tomorrow, Tuesday, uh, kung ako tatanungin nyo, I'll prefer 3.30. 3.30 na lang. But 
I'll still give you the option. Okay lang naman sa akin kung gusto niyo mag uh, 1.30 to 3.30. Okay, Mr. Bumatayang, pakigawa na lang ng uh, poll. We will discuss yung uh, socio-economic impact. More on summary na lang. And uh, what do you call this? Wala sa book to. No? Uh, but I discuss it to the other class, to the other school, poverty alleviation. Do you have questions regarding the personal thought matrix, yung ating PA? Anybody? Okay. Ako, no? Ako may tatanong. Ilan ba? Ilan ba, sir, yung kada SWOT? No? Ilan po ba yung strength? Ilan po yung weakness? Ilan yung opportunity? Ilan po yung threat? So, the minimum is, minimum po, five. So five strengths, five weaknesses, five opportunities, and five threats. Uh, I will share with you a video uh, from last year para meron din kayong guide. Yes, Mr. Lim? Sir, ask ko lang po, kailan po yung deadline po ng SWOT? Ah, uh, check ko yung code. Ah, kailan po yung exam natin? Meron na ba kayong copy ng schedule ng exam? Kasi ang alam ko, Friday tayo, di ba? Friday, Friday po, sir. Friday po, free subject po kayo. Kasi nung last year, ganito yung nangyari sa amin. Yung exam niya is on the spot. Why on the spot? Kasi, pag on the spot, pwede, pwede nga pa makorek. Yun yung maganda dun sa on the spot. But, kasi kung, let's say, recorded lang yung video nyo, kung ano yung pinasang nyo, yun na yun. Okay? But I will still ask for, ano, I will ask for the opinion of uh, our ADM strand coordinator is fine. But for me, must refer to yung, uh, yung on the spot. Uh, why? I'm planning to also invite her and your advisor, Ms. Francesca Cruz, be one of the uh, the two other judges. Uh, you may start. Okay. Okay, good morning, sir. Good morning, classmates. I am the first presenter of my personal marketing plan using the SWOT matrix. So before that, uh, my inspirational quotation of this is from the Lotus, a video game character from the game Warframe. She says, dream not of who you are, but of who you want to be, basically meaning that when you do dream, you dream of the things you want to be or the things you aspire to become. My executive summary, my five-year plan starting from here at age 17 up until I am around first or second year in college. So of course, I plan to work hard and smart for the remainder of my years in senior high school. I would like to explore more curricular activities to earn some form of credit, meaning I, yeah. earn some recognition outside of my academics. <laughs> And then I would like to maintain my honor student status until I move up to college. And then I do plan on studying abroad in Japan. So I need to do research and learn about the schools that I wish to enroll in. And then in those universities, I would like to apply for scholarship. And of course, be studying in abroad. I also need to research about their culture difference and customs because Japanese people particularly are known for being very polite. Nihongo Renshushi Suzukeru, meaning I will continue to practice uh, learning the Japanese language. And then once I am in college, when I'm in university, I gain at least one friend because uh, I believe you do not need you do not need many friends. You only really need one or two. You really trust. Uh, and who are faithful to you. And then my 10-year plan starting from college up until I am in my early 30s, gambling uh, mas meaning I will continue to do my best in college in my academics. And then as I am in first or second year college, I will up look for and apply for a part-time job, probably re uh, in regards to bookkeeping because it's the most 
basic type of job I can do as a student. And then, of course, I plan to graduate and go home here in the Philippines, uh, get a job to become financially stable, and then, of course, uh, get married. Okay, kayo bahala dun ako. Anong gusto nyo lagay? It's up to you. It's your life. Tapos, you have to put you know, your option for three schools. Hindi ko alam kung ganyan ito yung ginawa ni Miss Kit. No? But, ano yung mga balak ng pasukan schools? So, yan. So, you have the option one, option two, option three. So, padadalan ko naman kayo ng copy nito, but I just want you to see. Ayan yung mga options niya. Tapos, bakit yung option one yung pipiliin mo, if ever? And Tokyo University is around, uh, I think it was top ayon. 50. And then, of course, again, uh, applying for scholarships in the, in the University of Tokyo, meaning they will be paying for most of my expenses, uh, including housing and rent, and most of the school expenses. And then the only thing, the inconvenience going in taking the BAS accountancy course. And then lastly, accounting is something that I've actually come to enjoy. There's something about uh, keeping records of financial transactions. So here, ang nilagay niya kasi, no? Typically, kung ano option one na school mo, yun yung nilalagay nila, no? But there are some students na ang pinili nila is yung option two. No? And then, why the degree? No? Yung first priority mo na course. Uh, bookkeeping, actually, is what I enjoy the most in accounting. Okay. And then... May nag... Patapusin muna natin ito. No? So, yung situation analysis naman, uh, or industry analysis, no? let's say, yung papasukan mong course, ano ba yung nangyayari sa accounting industry ngayon? And then your situation as an ABM student. Ano bang nagiging day, a day in the life ng isang ABM student? The family situation? Ano bang situation ng family mo? You can put anything you want. Be honest. Be yourself. Uh, I will not judge dahil it's your life. No? Yeah. Situation analysis. Of course, us as ABM students aren't exactly suitable learning environments compared to physical classrooms and then but there is the convenience of studying at electrical weekends and then lastly in my personal SWOT analysis I use this template so siya gumawa siya ng template no but I will not force you to do the template so pakita niyo naman yung kanya being as leaders though I have much experience with it I know I am not the best and then in socializing Again, ayun nga, I do not believe I need many friends that I... Okay, so lima yung minimum requirement ko, but he put six. No? It's your prerogative. And then each, you must include an explanation. No? Limbawa, your strength is speaking and tinkering. Bakit mo nasabi na yun yung isang strength mo? No? As much as possible, provide evidence that it is your strength. Or let's say weakness niya daw is leadership and social skills. Bakit mo nasabi? Lagi ka bang inaaway ng mga groupmates mo? Lagi kang awkward, etc., etc., etc. Ano ba yung opportunities mo? Explain. And that is why I do not make the effort to make many friends. Ayaw na mag- uh, The social skills na naulit siya. Ayaw na. So, yun yung maganda. No? I, I was able to still comment dun sa kanyang gawa. So, he can still change it. So probably uh, you can you, you can think of other things to replace the social skills aspect. Probably another thing that you can add to the threats is what will happen uh, probably with the <laughs> Philippine economy, if not the Japanese economy. That is part of the threats. Okay, uh, magbibigay na ako ng leak. No? Ano ba epekto ng Philippine economy sa buhay mo? Uh, so let's say uh, let's say, no, sa opportunities, Philippine economic growth for first quarter of this year is 8.3%. Ano naman kinalaman nun sa buhay mo? Yeah, that's an example. For the yes. Yes. Yeah. Uh, overall, the, overall the, mean of presentation, si Goides. Okay. Sir, in so, overall, no, yun yan, sinabi ko, si Goides. But I think there were only two or three mistakes. So I'm sure 
Na pag nagawa niyo naman 'to, malaking chance niyo na maka 90 man lamang po. Okay? I'll give you this link. Ano po bang question? Bago tayo mag-iwahiwalay, 10.32 na. So, it's up to you kung gusto niyong uh, live or you're just going to submit a recording. Uh, I'll give you the sample yung pinadala kong video. No? Uh, nandito lang yan, hanapin ko within the day. So you can prepare. Uh, tanong ko lang si Ms. Carol kung pwedeng after the exam ng 12.30, we can start ng mga 1 o'clock. Wala naman siguro kung lakad nun. Again, you can you can just record the exam. Okay lang naman po sa akin. But pag may mali kayo, touch move na yun. That is the, that is the con. No? Yun po yung pros and cons. Recorded, hindi ka na pressure na mag-record sa akin. Con, pag may mali ka, mali ka na. Sa ano naman, of course, it's a little bit more raw for the unrecorded because you're presenting it live. But if you have mistakes, they can still be rectified. Uh, alam ko, shy lang po kayo magtanong ngayon. You can ask me later or you can, ayan. So, ayan na si Mr. Santos, asking on behalf of the class. Yes. Uh, sir, paano po pag ano, uh, yung ipepresent ko po recorded, tapos sasagutin ko na lang po after nung recording yung mga tanong niya po? Hindi, usually pag recorded, no, I will no longer ask the question. So, let's say, uh, mag-invento lang tayo ng SOT, no, sa strength na lang. Ba, sinabi mo, guwapo ko, mayaman ako, marami akong, hindi, marami akong pera. Marami akong girlfriend, kung na lang. So yung tatlo na lang na yun, you specify the reasons. Mayaman po ako, sir, kasi we have ganito, ganito, ganyan, marami kaming kotse, marami kaming bahay, etc. And then, guwapo ako kasi model ako sa ganitong brand. You have to explain. So pag nag, uh, nag-present kayo, wala kayong explanation, may ano na yun, may demerits na po sa akin. So you need to explain each of the five strengths, five weaknesses, five opportunities and five threats. Ang advantage naman nung raw, I can cut you off. Okay na yan. Masaya na ako doon sa strength mo. Masaya na ako doon sa weakness mo. Masaya na ako sa opportunities mo. Masaya na ako sa threats mo. You do not need to explain the others. Yun. Yun yung advantage ng, un, ng rec, unrecorded. Uh, kung ano na lang yung sa tingin ko medyo questionable. Let's say, oh, bakit mo nilagay yung guwapo ako sa threat? No? Yun, makikwestion kita. Okay? Yes, Lauron? Sir, clarify ko lang po. So, hindi na po required yung live presentation. Pero kapag hindi kami pumasok sa araw na bakasyon na po, mas mababa po yung score namin. Ganun po ba? I did not say that. Ang sabi ko lang, ulitin ko, ulitin ko, babagalan ko. Pag recorded, wala ka ng pressure because you already recorded it. So most of the time, tama na yung record mo. And the problem is, pag recorded, pag may mali ka, touch move na yung mali mo. Hindi ko na pwedeng, ah, pakibago na lang to, Miss Lauron, mali to. Sinabi mo na threat yung maganda ka. Uh, sample lang yun. So, minus points na yun. But, if you're going to do the record, uh, the live presentation, there's still chance for correcting the error. So, sabihin ko, uh, Miss Laron, paki-correct na lang to, paki-ayos na lang to, and then we will uh, edit the score a little bit. Uh, hindi pa naman sure yung Monday, no? I might make it Friday afternoon. Kaya naman yan, eh, Friday afternoon. Kasi, Di ba yung class natin 8.30? I might ask sir lagi na mag-adjust ng time. Baka mas maaga kayo matapos. 8.30 to, ano yun? 8.30 to 9.30, no? So, ma-adjust ng isang oras. 8.30 to 9.30, 10 to 11, uh, 11.30 to 12.30. So, mawawala yung 11.30 to 12.30. We can start at around 1 o'clock. Hanggang 5 o'clock. Yun na yun. Kasi makakapag-record pa ba kayo? Wednesday na bukas. Any other question before we go our separate ways? Uh, yung template, huwag kayong mag-alala, magbibigay ako ng template. Yes, Mr. Buma tayo. Sir, paano po, Arna? Sir, hindi na po ma-adjust yung submission if magre-record pa po? Uh, I will try to talk to Miss Carol about, about that. Kasi, uh, di ba sabi ko nga, Monday sana, but you're saying, uh, Sir, vacation na po. So, pag ganun, wala na akong choice, we will do it on Friday. Actually, mas okay nga sa akin na we'll do it on Friday afternoon. So, ang pressure kasi pag-recorded, record mo. Wala nang ang bawian. Yan lang naman. But again, uh, I might go for Friday para uh, satisfied niyo Monday. Na, teka, 
May klase pa kayo ng Wednesday, eh, no? May klase pa ba kayo ng Wednesday? Yes, po, sir. Eh, Thursday, ano na eh. Ah, uh, kausapin ko si Miss Carol. Pwede kong i-extend yung deadline. Kung sakali, gawin ko hanggang Wednesday next week. Uh, Pwede recorded, but Wednesday ang deadline. Pero ito sasabihin ko, pag hindi kayo nagpasa ng Wednesday deadline, wala na ako sasabihin. No? That will be considered as zero. Sir, excuse me po. Wednesday, ano po? Next week or this week po? Wednesday, next week. Pinipap ah, lang po. ko kay Ms. Carol. Okay po. Okay. Yes, Santos. So, ano po, um, mag magtatalaga po kayo ng assignment stub for this. Yeah. And ano po, yes. um, so optional na rin po yung kung a-attend po uh, kung sakali sa live. Or kailangan pa rin po umattend. Kung okay. kahit po magre-record. Optional yung live. You do not have to attend. Thank you po. Yes, Laura. Sir, yung sa live or even yung sa recorded, meron po bang time limit dun sa video namin? Pag recorded, wala. No? Walang... Ano yun, it's up to you. Kung gusto nyo, you can continue your personal spot ng two hours, okay lang sa akin. So, yun naman yung, yun yung advantage and, and maybe disadvantage. No? Because, pag recorded, you can present all of it. No? From start to finish. Now, pag unrecorded naman, I might choose some certain parts lang. Bibiglain kita, oh, bakit ito yung weakness mo? Oh, bakit ito yung strength mo? Bakit ito yung school na pinili mo? Bakit ito yung nasabi mo sa industry analysis? But, the time presentation, so of course, meron tayong time constraints. Kung three hours, I might just give the student mga 10 to 15 minutes for the presentation. Okay? So, so ito ha. Pag recorded, walang time limit. No time limit. Pro or unrecorded, siguro 10 to 15 minutes or even less. Merong studyante na uh, last year, parang five minutes lang nakita ko. Suwabe lahat ng mga reporting niya. Lahat ng mga tinanong ko, walang problema. He got perfect. And that student is just an ordinary student. Alam niya lahat ng mga strategies on how to present. So, yun. Anything else? Bago tayo mag-lunch? Kung meron pang pahabol na question, you may ask Mr. Bumatayo. But I will provide the template para hindi naman kayo maligaw. Uh, okay, kayo kabahan, no? It's just similar to the one na pre-present nyo kay Miss Keith. Meron lang akong binagdag na konti. Uh, I'm doing this uh, personal swap matrix because it is very helpful for your uh, incoming college. Kasi after this, grade 12 na kayo. So you're having the option to choose kung saan nyo gusto mag-enroll, what courses you're planning to take. You might have some new options or just to reaffirm yung mga gusto nyo priority. Okay, thank you. Praise to be Jesus Christ, now and forever, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, as now, never shall be, will we doubt and amen. That in all things, God may be glorified. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, amen. I'll give you the links later. Don't worry, no? Okay, 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 okay. Technically, I'm giving it, I'm giving away the quarterly assessment. Uh, so, yun na yung chance nyo maka, maka may maka 99 na ulit, or 100. Or, no? Baka mabit nyo yung legendary record na 100. Okay? So with that, as always, Humba Humba ABM. Thank you, Zamboanga. Have a good day, everyone. Thank you, Po. Thank you, Po, sir. Thank you, Po, sir.